Ooh, I look like a hamster. Okay. Pizza, Ruffles, Doritos, the Cool Ranch Doritos. Oh, there goes my camera. Um, the Cool Ranch Doritos, what else do we have? Reese's, oh, I really don't want to do Reese's, ew. Um, oh, the fruits and vegetables. Ooh, Trisha loves salads. Trisha loves salsa. I kind of want to just like add to it, kind of um, impro- <gasps> I'm a nugget warrior. Trisha loves pumpkins. Trisha loves cupcakes. She loves fresh guaranteed fresh blueberry muffins. She likes extra fresh things. Um, chocolate. Oh, Trisha loves, loves donuts. We should get her donuts. Actually, no, Trisha loves cake. We should get her cake. Oh, Trisha loves, loves cookies. Pumpkin, pumpkin snickerdoodle cookie. Cause I'm a nugget warrior. Trisha loves ice cream cake. We should get ice cream cake. Cake. Oh, that's too expensive now. Trisha loves instant food. I'm right there with her. I hate cooking. Let's get her. Uh, wait a minute. We have to get. <gasps> she loves Reese's, and that was in her video. Okay. Item number one. So I'm a warrior. Trisha loves drumsticks. Trisha also loves cheese pizza, but we're gonna order pizza from. She really likes Domino's cheese pizza, but I don't like Domino's. I personally, I'm a fan of no other pizza other than like New York style pizza which I had in Manhattan because I just came from there or I love Little Caesars pizza only the stuffed crust though hopefully this is focused on me and not them I love stuffed crust Little Caesars it is the best $9 you'll ever spend so we're gonna do that even though I'm sure she likes it she loves loves these I don't know what they are. We have to go down this aisle. <gasps> Vegetables. Chicken Parmesan. Chicken Parmesan. Trisha loves steak. Trisha loves little poppy pie. Trisha loves Stouffer's mac and cheese. My God, Trisha loves shrimp scampi. I literally can't decide. There's just too much here. And I really don't want to copy her video verbatim, like word for word. She loves waffles. She loves vinegar. I mean, I've seen her put vinegar all over her french fries, all over her chicken parmesan. Oh, these, this remind. this is so Trisha Paytas, because she's basically a Puritan. If she could be a Puritan, she'd be, she already is a Puritan, because they're very religious, they pray, and they're basically Catholics, and she is Catholic. And this is literally, this is her. Limited edition Doritos. All right, but what she likes are these now we have to go find the ruffles I love ruffles oh my god I can't even tell you how much I love love sour cream and oh, cheddar sour cream ruffles oh but she likes the original it's okay I'm gonna get some nice chip and dip I really want that cheddar sour cream but this is what she likes I'm gonna add that to our bag I'm a warrior because I'm a oh this is what oh this what is this this. I think it's that, right? <gasps> she likes a nutty, oh, she does like the nut. Here's the French onion dip. This is what you dip your chips in. So this is a, um, a dill pickle. Um, this is a bacon horseradish. I just want, ooh, that's too expensive. So this one is $1.68. We're gonna go for the dollar one. We're in the car. I know I'm red, but that's just because of the, um, the lights in front of me. I'm so excited. Can I just have one little light? Ooh. I'm so excited. This is soft life chicken forever. Mmm, it's gonna be even better with the sour cream and onion. I don't know why she doesn't do that. She should totally use sour cream and onion. If these chips go flying everywhere, I'm gonna be in big trouble. Cause this is not my car. <laughs> Why is this taking forever? Mm. I'm so excited for that sour cream and onion dip. Here we go. Okay, so now we're off to go to Little Caesars. In 1,000 feet. People are gonna think I'm a drunk driver over here. No, I'm just trying to record myself. <laughs> so we're off to Little Caesars. I made my order on my cell phone. I've never made an order on the phone before. I've always done it on the computer or even called in. Or actually, I've walked over and be like, hey, can I have a pizza? And they always have like a bunch ready to go. But I ordered pizza, stuffed crust, pepperoni. It's my favorite. Yes, you wait for me. Thank you. 
I was saying I got some crazy bread as well because that's so good and I got one of every single dip She also loves Domino's, but I don't she also likes pizza, pizza Hut and she really likes Papa John's She also likes flat flatbread and thin bread. I just literally I don't like most chain Pizzas things oops you caught me, but I always say it on camera. I'm always like oh, this is not very good I want Little Caesars Little Caesars stuffed crust is the best one more chip I opened the bag wrong uh, yeah, I hate when, when that happens here we go. Hello, yes. Um, I'm gonna have a classic Whopper, please, with cheese. Oh, she loves chicken parmesan. Oh, they're gonna have the chicken. Oh, oh, the pretzel bacon. I'm gonna do a pretzel bacon king, please. And also a uh, number two meal. And one order of chicken fries. I don't know. Oh. I'm gonna have medium, please. And a regular order of chicken fries, please. Actually, I'm gonna do the Parmesan chicken fries. Do you have that available? No. No? Okay, I'll just have the regular chicken fries. And that's everything. So you want sauce with that? Yes, I'm gonna have um, barbecue. Thank you, that's everything. Oh my gosh. Oh, this looks so good. I'm so excited. People are watching, but I don't care. Look at this. She is gonna love this. Oh my God. Hey, little sloths. It's me, Nick Avocado. We're back home. Shooby doo, we're home. Hello, we're back home. Shooby doo, we're home. Hello, and this is hot and steamy. Cause we're eating like Trisha Paytas. All of her favorite foods. And I went all out. I got a lot of different stuff. I also got literally... <sighs> okay, first and foremost, let me just show you everything I got. But yeah, people were making fun of me and calling me loser in the parking lot of my pizza. Because I was so excited. I took like a little... I took the camera with me. I was like, ooh, do 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 And I turned it off and I went to, to put it in the back seat. And people were like, loser. Loser. And... It makes me want to cry. I'm like... Like, I'm just living my life. Maybe, 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 maybe I worked really hard and this is how I decided to spend my paycheck. Maybe I'm treating my baby little girl to pizza for the first time from, and I'm documenting it. Maybe, maybe I'm giving it to, um, I'm sharing it with my aunt who's just, you know, recovered from surgery and I'm happy that she's alive and with me. You know, I felt like I was being like targeted in, um, like middle school or something. Ooh, these are good. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I didn't get it on tape. I think I got their laughing on tape. I'm gonna see when I edit this. They were laughing and I looked at them. So good. I'm so excited. But then once I went to put it back in the car, put, put the pizza into the car, they started making fun of me. It made me sad, like wow. Anyways, hi everyone. <laughs> it's me, Nick Cacado Avocado. We have a double Whopper, ooh, with cheese. We have a Burger King soda. We got some pizza. She loves these. <gasps> and I have some dipping sauces over here. Okay, so the best part is down here on the floor. I'm really excited. Ruffles. I got Ruffles. I got Cool Ranch Doritos. And over here, I got Reese's, and I don't like candy, but I did it for her. <laughs> I'm doing it because I'm literally copying her. It's called like favorite junk food. And I've never had these before. I'm really excited to try these. But okay, something that she didn't do is French onion dip. French onion, I just got the Walmart brand because the other one was 60 cents more, like ew. So I got this one. <laughs> She needs to dip her chips in some dip. Anyways, let me get everything set up. I'm really excited. I'm really hungry. I'm so... Oh, we're doing a special Q&A from my Twitter. So follow my Twitter. Every Friday... Every, oh, excuse me. Every Friday... I almost want this flying. Every Friday, I pick a bunch of you to follow back. And so far, I've followed 19,000 people. So consider um, joining me on Twitter for all of my exci excitement craziness, and I'll see you on over there. But yeah, today we're doing a Q&A for my Twitter. So without further ado, let's get everything set up really pretty for that thumbnail, and let's begin the show. One, two, three. <gasps> Bam! Hey! 
Hey, this looks really, really good. Hopefully it looks good to you. I'm so excited, I got my pizza. I brought out some Buffalo Wild Wings. These are very, very spicy. I heated them up, so. Mmm, so, so loud. Trisha loves these. Mm. Cheers. Trisha likes water too. Mm. Mm. This is my first buy of food in a long time. Follow my Twitter at Nikocado Avocado, and if you do, I might just follow you back. I'm starving. I haven't eaten forever. Now I'm gonna be answering your questions from my Twitter. So here we go, let's open it up. I'm gonna try to do as many as I can. Don't forget, if you follow my Twitter, I actually might follow you back, because so far I follow almost 20,000 people. I've followed 20,000 of you guys. I keep my word on Twitter, because <clears throat> there's no limit, <coughs> there's no limitation. Oh my God, it's spicy. There's a limitation on sour cream, here we go. There's a limitation on Instagram, but. Mmm. <gasps> This is sour cream and onion. Oh my god. There we go. I'm gonna put the ruffles into it. That's all you do, chip and dip. Do you think Trisha actually liked you or just used you? Have you and Trisha talked ever since your thing? What does Trisha smell like? What did you think of the video making fun of you guys? Here I am eating like Trisha Paytas, answering questions about her. Okay, do you guys wanna hear an embarrassing story? Trisha would love this because she's learning how to take it up back there, isn't she now? Yeah. Okay, pay attention, Trisha. So, Trisha. Oh my god. Let's try this. This is brand new. It's also calling my name. Look at that. Oh. Oh. Cheers, you guys. I'm so excited. Okay, here we go. Mmm. 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 I love the bun. I was going to get a little Caesars. Uh, pretzel, pretzel pizza, but they don't have any more. I was totally going to, but they don't have any more. Oops, that one ripped. No. Here we go, Little Caesars pizza. Mm. Okay, first question. When are you going to come out with a vlog channel? Hi, Daniel. I don't know. I hate vlogging. I don't know what the other YouTubers tell you. But to me, it's miserable. It's very... Actually, you know who does it? I was going to say, a lot of them are like very forced and... Like you have to... Walking down the street. Scenario. Walking down, I don't know, Manhattan, New York. Da 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 da. And then all of a sudden, you're not in focus. So you have to walk back and do it again, or just keep going, but you have to repeat yourself then, because you weren't in focus. Da, 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 da. Oh, the lighting's bad. The sun's coming over here. Oh, there's a reflecting reflection off the window. Oh, da, 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 da. oh, someone's in the background that didn't want to be on camera. Now I have to do it again. Or I'm gonna have to blur them out, or they can file like a privacy complaint. Da, 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 da. Oh, there's music in the background. Oh no, copyright. I have to keep, so you just wasted, well not wasted, but it takes you out of real life living. It's not fun at all. To be honest, a lot of the vlog uh, videos that are so, so, so edited, I used to vlog before mukbangs, and I'm telling you, it takes you out of the moment. It takes you out from living. So, you're having to repeat yourself, you're having to do things you normally wouldn't do. You have to say things you normally wouldn't say. It's also very edited. And to be honest, Trisha, Trisha's vlogs aren't like that. People complain because it's not edited. It's an hour of her sitting down, not looking at the camera, doing something. But that's the closest as real life as you can get. Other than that, and most people don't do it like that because you want it to be entertaining too. That's the thing. You want it to be entertaining. And usually that involves editing, transitions, music, but it takes a lot of stuff. I hate it. 
hate it. Marcel says, do you ever get constipated after mukbangs? Never. Never, never, ever. Never. Mm. Nope. I eat very healthy off camera. Okay, I really want this dip. This here is a Southwest Chipotle that came from Buffalo Wild Wings. It's the best dip in the world. Trisha loves it. She loves this dip. Mmm. I mean, that makes me scream. It makes me say things out loud, truly. There's some ranch over here. I came from Marcella. Cute little bean says, who do you crave the most? Mm. Well, how about YouTubers? How about a YouTuber I kind of crush on? Okay, what's his name? I was just looking at him the other day. Actually, I know his Instagram. Oh my God, he's never gonna, I'm verified on Instagram. You guys, I feel very happy about that. It just happened, I woke up and I was verified. Okay, Pano. Blue Franklin, that's his name, Blue? I don't know anything about him other than when I look at him, I'm just like, <gasps> His name is Pano, Pano Pancakes. <sighs> I know I'm married, but let's pretend I'm not married right now. <clears throat> I don't think he makes YouTube videos very often. He just has the cutest face ever. Here's him with his little dog, his doggy. Oh, wow. Uh, Pano Pancakes. <clears throat> I think he did YouTube back in the day. He was a gay YouTuber. Or is a gay YouTuber, not was. He is gay. Fully. Oh. I gripped my pizza. I'm partly gay. I'm bisexual. And, um, here we go. He is so cute. I crush on him. And I never really crush on people. Mmm. This is so good. You have to get the stuffed crust from Little Caesars. Otherwise, it's bad. <clears throat> but stuffed crust Little Caesars is better than Domino's, Pizza Hut. It's just perfection. Who else do I crush on? Um, not another gay. What's his name? Chris. Ontario. Ah. Who else do I crush on? Give me a YouTuber. <gasps> well, I wish this was in real life, interactive. Okay. <clears throat> if you were given an opportunity to do a mukbang with a celebrity, who would you choose? This comes from MJ. People ask me this all the time. I honestly would say, Judge Judy. Judge Judy is so inspiring to me. I love her no nonsense, no nonsense policy, no tolerance for nonsense policy. Can I just smell this? I love the way Whoppers smell. And taste. Mm. Who was your worst collaboration? Caitlin. Um. Oh my god, I don't want to open up a can of worms. I Someone popped in my head. Um. I do not want to say this on camera. <laughs> well. What would Trisha do? Trisha would make a video and say it. I mean, I just, I personally choose my battles, pick my battles. It's not even a battle. It just went south. Real fast. This is the best video. Oh, Mmm. Oh, look at that. Mm. Oh, 
Okay, I might make a video about that person one day. But I don't have to right now. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. I'm sorry if this is too much for you. Oh, what did I just do? Mm. Everyone says do an apartment tour. Are you still together? Do you speak, understand Spanish? No, I don't, Vanessa. A lot of people want to know that. No, I don't. Here we go. Here we go, Southwest Ranch, here we go. Oh. My God. Mm. Yesterday I had a bib on for my seafood boil. And the funny thing is, even with the bib, I still managed to get stuff on my shirt. I just, might be the angles. I don't know what it is. Let's try some crazy bread. Here we go. <clears throat> I thought this was the cheese, the baked one. I guess not. Ooh. I want, I want some naughty questions. I want some inappropriate questions. I want some gossipy questions. I want some drama questions. I want you guys to ask me about um, other YouTubers or celebrities or scandals. The, the Lawrence family wants to know how do I think about Shane Dawson's new series. Haven't seen it. And it's not because I don't want him. It's because it's really busy. And it's not nothing against him. It's just... I don't feel like that. No, it's just like a Eugenia one. Eugenia one. But this is so good. I have not watched a series. I will. I've just been so busy, and I know it just came out. The thing is, I counted, he only made eight videos for the whole year. 2019, Shane Dawson made eight videos. Would you have beep with your friend Nadia? Ooh. That puts me in a very uncomfortable situation because we're friends now. And you guys know I filmed a mukbang with a friend. She's very, very pretty, don't get me wrong. This is so good. Mmm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. The thing is though, I don't... I really do want to <clears throat> do it for the first time with a woman, never done it. I think it's better off someone that I don't know personally. Because that just makes it awkward. Or exciting. But I'm not, I'm not, no. Mm-mm. Mm. So shout out to her. She's a very beautiful woman. Oh my god. She's gonna watch this video. And it's not really against her. It's just I don't think I could do that. With someone that I know. And like. Have you and Trisha talked ever since your thing? <clears throat> yes, actually. Um... I'm totally clickbaiting her name right now, Trisha Paye's video, but I tell you guys the truth, <clears throat> and the truth is we are not friends, friends, friends in terms of like, oh, let's go shopping, or oh, I'm going through issues, help me with something, but I wouldn't consider us enemies anymore. Everyone thought our collab was really forced. I don't know what to say. Maybe it was. I don't... I think it was the best thing for both of us. That's all I'm saying. At the time... Life is really short. I, would people be happier if I just like... I don't know. I thought people would be happy for us. And I think some people are. Some people really, really dislike her. Some people really, really dislike me. I just gotta chip up my nose. Ooh. So I can't please everyone. People, every 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 time I go live on you now, every time I do an Instagram Q&A, people are always just like, do you talk? What's going on? I say hi now and then. She says hi now and then. 
<coughs> excuse me, she responds to my Instagram stories, like, says something about it. I'll say the same thing. But, I think we're both being smart just to, um, take things slow given our personalities, which are very, very similar, given the fact that, um, well, what happened, obviously, you're not going to be like, we're BFFs now. And, and yes, I said it in the video, but I wasn't be. <sighs> you can have a collaboration without having to, like, go to their house and hang out every day. You know what I mean? And I just thought, at the time, I was in Los Angeles. I'm rare rarely there. And I thought it was a fun way to end the whole thing, because... That's what I wanted from day one, like, five years ago, three years ago, you know? I didn't keep thinking about it still, but, yeah. <clears throat> there you go, little bird. How can you handle the fact knowing that your husband's sleeping with other people? Because I know he still loves me, and I know that when we're separate, he just wants a little relief. And by the way, I know a lot of people are not going to understand the relationship. But I love him so much that I want him to be happy. If that's going to make him happy, it still doesn't make... I mean, we're still... I mean, he still can't wait to see me and everything, but... I'm fine, because I did it too. But we talk... I just talked to him for an hour on the phone. He's like my best friend. It's like, I would want that. And people think like, how do you do this? How are you separate for so long? Well, with the whole deportation thing, the whole visa runs thing, he was in Colombia. I could only be in Colombia half the year. The other half the year, I had to be out of the country. That was the law. He wasn't going to leave, leave the cat, leave the bird, leave his family. And we just got used to it. Let's do more pizza. The pizza is so good. We just got used to it. I don't... I won't say I like it per se, but... Oh, here's the thing, too. We are with each other 24-7 every day, night, everything in between, because we both work from home. When we're together, we're both here at all times. Most couples spend more time with their co-workers than their own spouses. Did you know that? People are talking about my, um, my close-ups here on you now. Sorry, guys. Mmm. <laughs> Shell Bells is very true. You know what I mean? Like, people spend more time with their co-workers. Think about it. Nine to five, five days a week. You see your husband or wife in the morning, if that. You come home, you eat, you go to sleep. If there's kids, if there's laundry... If there's stuff to do. Orlin and I don't have that. And that's a very healthy thing, I think. To go away, come back. Go away, come back. Go away, come back. So we have our own version of that. Which, back in the day, was visa runs. Leaving the country, coming back to the country. But there for very long periods of time. It wasn't, you know, five hours going to work. It was like three months, two months, here and there. It's like an army wife. <clears throat> mm. So, anyway... Next question. Do you think Trisha actually liked you or just used you? Follow my Twitter at Nikocado Avocado, and if you do, I might just follow you back. Do you think Trisha actually liked you or just used you? Um. I think. I think on YouTube, everyone uses everyone in a way. Titles, ideas, things are borrowed, things are copied. You make friends with people who you normally probably wouldn't be friends with in real life had you not had that common denominator of being a YouTuber. I mean, I have some friends now in my life who I'm very close with and I ask myself, would I be friends with them had it not been YouTube? The answer would be no. And it's not because I don't like them, it's because I probably would have never even got to know them. I would have never, they would have never come into my life. 
So with that said, and with the YouTube community being small, and it's a very high stressful job or career or hobby, whatever, you want to be there for other YouTubers, at least this is how I see it. You want to be there for them. And you want to make the best of it because they're the only people who can relate to you. You guys are all the viewers. People on you now, you guys are all the viewers. But in terms of creator, behind the screen, going through the algorithm and the pay and the YouTube rules and hate, hate comments and um, no one can really understand what that feels like from the back end. So I don't feel like she used me per se and I don't feel like I used her, but our problems and our resolution are only because of YouTube. You know what I mean? So I'll eat like Jeffree Star as I did. I made a video eating like Jeffree Star. Would I do that if I wasn't a YouTuber? Heck no. It's just part of the... I mean, mukbang. I didn't come up with the idea of mukbang. All I do is eat. I borrowed that idea from a Korean. I just feel like... I think it just makes sense, and I think it's not a bad thing, and I don't feel like she used me. I think um, she wanted a resolution, and she she did what I wanted three years ago, was that was to meet her and film with her, and... Everyone can call it cringy. People can say it's awkward. I had a nice time. Not gonna lie. I had a really nice time. So it doesn't mean we're best friends. It doesn't mean I talk to her all the time. But that's with any kind of business arrangement. And it was very businessy. You know what I mean? And given after the video I made, our hopes was for you guys to feel better about it. So, you know, that's the point of it. Have you ever, ever dabbled in S&M? No, I haven't. No, I have not. My husband, however, <sighs> do I want to say this on camera? <laughs> Let's just say it involves a swing that's like hanging from the ceiling. Yeah. Someone brought up a good point, just like t Trailer Trash Tammy. Trailer Trash Tammy and I probably wouldn't have never met, never hung out, never exchanged numbers. I've talked to Trailer Trash Tammy on the phone, like, once every couple weeks now. It's just, is she using me for clout? Am I using her for clout? No, but you can have friendships come from a common denominator or something, even if you're very different. Actually, I think she and I are very similar. I think Trisha and I are similar. I kind of said that in our club. We're both Tauruses. Our birthdays are like two days apart. We're both dramatic. We both like the attention. We both have a lot of opinions. We both love to eat. Tauruses' food is their best friend. I just... Oh my god, why is soda so good right now? I hate soda, but that tastes so good. I have my water over here. Oh. What does Trisha smell like? Um, I don't remember any particular scent. No. Mm -mm. I know Trailer Trash Tammy smelled like a Barbie. Like actually a Barbie. I used to play with Barbies. Their hair. Mm. It sounded like a creep. <laughs> well, when you're a kid, I was like seven. I actually played with Barbies up until I was the age of <clears throat> 12, probably. You guys, I moved the angle down because people don't like the double chin. These people are watching up close eating. I don't know how they can do it. Mm. Yeah. Every comment's literally about Trisha, you guys. <clears throat> A 
And can I actually say, I never said this. It's been month. It's been what a month since I saw her. We made her collab. A month or two months? I think one month. No, July, August, September, October. <clears throat> Three months. Two months. Oh well, it was pretty recent, <clears throat> relatively. And um, <clears throat> I never said this on this channel. I think on one of my other channels I mentioned it. Someone made a video like Nick Akato and Trisha being awkward for five minutes straight. It has a million views, more than our collabs, which was really funny. <clears throat> and I thought it was hilarious. Now, a lot of these questions are asking me about that. Like, what did you think of the video making fun of you guys? I was, uh, I'm learning as time goes on as being a YouTuber, even though I'm just eating and I'm just sharing my story, but I learned to laugh at stuff. And now I love when make people make videos about me. Love it. I love it. Honestly. And that video was funny. It was fun. I mean, it made me look like the loser who was desperate. You know, but I don't care. Like, because I didn't feel like I was desperate. She asked me. You know, I, I, I it was her place. Her, her, she picked me up. She drove me there. You know, like, I don't feel like I was begging, you know. And the first time around, I didn't beg either. That was also her idea. So, and it makes me look like the desperate loser, but I, I know honestly who I am and what I say, what I think, and um, I don't mind it so much because everyone's asking about it, but yeah, it made you look bad. Well, I don't care because I know that I came from a good place, you know, so. Mmm. I love pizza. Mmm. Next questions. Oh. Have your Uber, has my Uber driver talk, tried talking to me? No, he hasn't. I said this earlier today, but I'm going to say it for you guys here on camera. If you don't know, I did my Uber driver couple of days ago, well, five days ago now. I told the whole story time on my third channel. Nick, put the thumbnail in so they can see which one. If you're interested, I go into explicit, explicit detail. It's like an hour long. It's not for children. If you're under the age of 18, please don't watch it. It's for my adult viewers. And I felt like sharing the story because it's something like that has never happened to me before. I thought it was a scene out of a movie. My Uber driver started hitting on me. He dropped me off. No one was home and... Let's just say I played with a baseball bat literally for 20 minutes. This big. It was a baseball. It was like a, a forearm baseball bat. Playing bat a bat a bat a bat a bat boom. Home run over here. Wow, anyway. No, he has not asked for more. I haven't talked to him since. I haven't messaged him. He hasn't messaged me. I'm still in shock it happened. This is why I said earlier today that I want to tell you. I'm surprised that he was into me. Now that I look back, because he was very, very attractive, a lot more than me. Um, you know, I'm chubby, and people like chubby people. Chubby people get love, too. Some people prefer chubby people. I'm one of those people. Well, I like people in all sizes. I'm one of those people that I like what I can get. <laughs> as long as I can get it, I'm happy. Um, but... Yeah, he was, I don't, did he have abs? No, but he had like a very, very, very good physique. Um, yeah, and he was literally the size of the pizza. He was the size of this. It, I've never seen anything like that in my life. But I just was surprised he was into me. I don't know why I feel that way. I feel like he was more attractive. I felt like he had a better body. I felt like, um, I don't know. So I kind of feel that, like, wow, I'm really surprised that he had a, he was in, interested in getting with me and stuff. Oh my god, everyone's talking about sardines. Let's not talk about sardines, you guys. We're eating junk food right now. But yeah, sardines are good for you. I love sardines. Here we go. Whopper. Next question. Mmm. Mmm.
Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah, a lot of people have tried to cancel me. I don't know what to say. Cancel me because I'm horny. Cancel me because I'm not vegan anymore. Cancel me because I cry too much. Cancel me because I like attention. I don't... But here's the thing. It's so ironic. This is a Trisha Paytas video, but... If I make a mistake and deliberately hurt someone, you know, you know, especially through being on the opposite side of it, boom, right away, I try to make it right. You know what I mean? Boom, right away, not drag it out. Sorry, Trisha. <clears throat> I'm over it. I Now you can laugh about it. That's how you really get over stuff. You laugh about it, you say, whatever. Um, but yeah, like, if, and most of my issues come personally, internally, like in my mind or in my relationship or in my travels. It's not like me targeting people on the internet. It's not me going after other, well, yes, I'll make videos about other YouTubers, but it's usually about stuff they put out first. Well, always about stuff they put out first. I don't like go snooping in their like tax records or trying to look up their school name or talking to their friends from five years ago that knew them in eighth grade and they said they stole their bouncy ball. And now I'm gonna make a video saying that they're a, they're a thief. Like, I don't, I don't do that. I, I'll just talk about, if they do something on camera and I witness it, then I'll share my opinion. That's different. Um. What was I saying? Someone said you should be the Grinch for Halloween. Could I, I feel like I'd be a good Grinch. I'm ve- Oh, that's a good one. Who said that? A mukbanger you'd like to smash. Oh. I have a story. <laughs> Maybe not in this video. Actually, I don't plan on ever sharing it. Little bird, don't get me in trouble. The camera's on. Um... <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'm not going to get into, oh my God, I'm turning red. There's been, let's just say a YouTuber who does food related videos. There we go. <clears throat> Could be a thousand different people that, um, they, he or she, <laughs> was really interested in me and um, I want to share this story so bad but I listen I'm taking that to the grave with me Orlin knows who else knows Carly Steele knows that's it I don't go around telling people but <laughs> let's just say YouTube has been a wild ride for me <clears throat> I mean here I am eating like Trisha Paytas answering questions about her um, and I've been through so much with, uh, friends and collaborations and someone asked like, who's your worst collab? And it's just, it's been a wild ride over the past couple years as I've turned into a eating machine, but there's been one situation that, um, got very intense. That's all I'm going to say. I'm so sorry. I know everyone wants the tea. I give tea about everything else. I swear. You know I do. So I just, I have to keep some things private. I should, I should probably edit this all out. <clears throat> I know it's not Trisha. No. I can say that. It's not Trisha. Nothing happened. Honestly, everyone thinks it's about Trisha. No, 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 no. I'm reading the comments. No, it's not about Trisha at all. I swear. It's about someone who does food related videos. That's all I'm saying. It's, but not her. And it got very t intense off camera and I'm just gonna take that to the grave <laughs> I'm so sorry I shouldn't even say anything but um I love watching you live thank you Did your, your parents find out about the uber driver no they didn't we love your tea thanks I'm sorry I can't tell that one I'll tell anything else though I told you the uber driver story literally three days ago and that was that was intense that was that was pretty crazy I wanted to dip in something I don't know what I guess these, since I opened them. Okay, Trisha likes these uh, chicken fries. I do not like these chicken fries. Ugh. No. Ew. They're so gross. I've always wanted to, um... With a woman. Never done that before. 
My husband would not join. My husband would not even watch. He's really not into that. Um, I, however, from time to time, very curious, I look. Um, that's something I've never, never fulfilled. And most gay people have because they try to make sure that they are. You know, like, to make sure that I swing this way, we're going to do both and make sure that this is the way. I didn't do that. I had girlfriends and the, as far as we went was like looking and touching. But that's it. Um, <laughs> doorknobs. But no, I've never. And I've, I've wanted to. Oh. Out of all videos. I've always been into trans, female to men. <laughs> um, and I'm not fetish, fetishizing or whatever people say fetish, fetishizing, fetish, um, what word am I looking for? Fetish, fetish, fetishizing. Chicks with D's. No, the opposite. Dudes with P's. Um, I talked about this with Chelsea Lynn a lot. <laughs> We said it in our video. Someone said, oh my God, out of all videos. I know, I know. Um, <laughs> that's, I'm um, not gonna lie. Interesting that um, I've, oh my God, I might just have to edit this all out. Oh, people are saying it's okay. All right, good, it's normal, good. <laughs> it's normal to think what that would be like. I just, um, yeah, have you guys ever, well, it's getting saucy, I know. I know. But yes, I have, um, that's a fantasy that's unfulfilled. Um, female to male. So they look like a man. They have facial hair. They take testosterone. They might have muscles. They have a deeper voice. They're um, very beautiful. But down there is still the female part. But with the, with the testosterone, it becomes like, not inflamed, but very big and puffy. Um, and I remember I was hanging out with my friend Trailer Trash Tammy because um, we had mentioned it in our collab. I mentioned this like three or four months ago when we collabed. I was just like, she asked me the same thing. Like, what's something you've always wanted to experience? I'm like, yeah, an FTM, a female to male. And people got mad, thought they were fetish, fet fantasizing, fetish. I'm not fetishizing. It's just saying like, I'm attracted to Irish men. I would like to sleep with an Irish man one day. Or I'm attracted to Asians. I would like to sleep with an Asian. Or I'm attracted to black. I want to try black. You're like, it's not fetishizing. It's saying there's different people with different appearances and they stimulate different responses in our brains. And I just mentioned that's something that I'm curious about. <clears throat> and it's a complimentary way, by the way. It's not saying these are objects that I'm going to use. I'm just saying. Anyway, I said that in the video. And then off camera, I she's, she told me... Personally, maybe I shouldn't even say this. I'm gonna have to make a lot of edits. Um, well, let's pretend I'm not editing. So she was just like, I've never Googled it myself. I'm like, that's okay. If you're not interested or thinking about it, you're not gonna Google it. So she's like, show me what it would look like. I'm like, well, <laughs> and I pull out my phone and I have, um, you know, just, I know where to go. And, um, there's nothing wrong with fetishes. Yeah. Orlin has a fetish for watching me with other people. Some people have fetish for feet. Some people have fetish for different races. I mean, there's nothing wrong with a fetish, I guess. Maybe it is fetishizing. But anyway, um, I showed her. I'm like, you know, here's some examples. Oh, I, I know this person, blah, blah, blah. And she, she zoomed in. And she's like, <gasps> she's like, that's a very big <laughs> C-L-I-T. I was like, boom. And she's like, wow. I'm like, yeah, it has something to do with the the testosterone they take. I don't know. Yes, that is definitely, whoever asked me that, something that I, <laughs> oh my God. Out of all videos, oh my God. <clears throat> There's nothing wrong with what you're attracted to. Yeah, I don't, I know people, people came for Tammy in that video. People came for me. People, uh, don't act like it's wrong to have ideas and fantasies. I mean, if you're not hurting someone and you're pleasing someone and it's consensual, like what what are people in, up in flames about? Especially with all the stuff going on in the world. They should not be um, inflamed about who someone's attracted to or whatever, something like that. So, um, when will we see your husband? Um, I don't know. Oh my gosh, people taking me out of context. If it bothers you, watch someone else. That's all I gotta say. There's nothing wrong with saying, I'm attracted to this. There's really not. Am I still in New York? No. Everyone has to try this, by the way. Everyone has to try this. Oh, so, so good. What kind of women are you attracted to? Well, speaking of Irish, I love um, 
I've always been very attracted to women with orange hair. One of my first crushes um, in band camp, um, she had orange hair. And then it turned out it was fake orange. She's, bl she's brown hair, brunette, but she dyes it orange. But then I've, um, I used to do Irish step dancing. And um, there's a girl f whose parents came from Ireland. Like, their parents had a thick accent. And I always thought she was so pretty. And, like, we're still friends on Facebook. And I look, I'm like, she's so gorgeous. So there's that. I like, um, typically darker features than lighter features. Typically, like, 99% of the time. <sighs> Someone's like that one one time at band camp. I know, there's people from Ireland who don't, who don't have red hair. I know. <laughs> They're like, no. <laughs> were you and Honey Eats flirting? No, we were not. Can I just be honest? Um, people kind of try to... Like, when me and Eric the Electric collaborated, people were just like, oh, Nick really wants to get him, you can tell. No, that is not... Uh-uh. And then when I was... Even with Carly Steele, who's one of my best YouTuber friends, she and I did a collaboration a year ago. A year ago. And people were saying that she was coming on to me and I was coming on to her. And they're saying, oh, no wonder Connor doesn't like Nick because they clearly flirt. I'm telling you, well, I can't speak for her. Well, I know from her. I also, it's also uncomfortable too when these are my friends so I don't feel that way and then the viewers think I do and then I have to look at her and be like, I really don't want your pee. She's like, well, I don't want your D. I'm like, I know, you don't. <laughs> like, it, it just makes it kind of, I guess that's what you get for making videos. People will judge or whatever, but it's fine. Everyone can judge, but I don't, no. There's no one I've ever collaborated with. Well, let me make sure. <laughs> No, there's no one I've ever collaborated with that I've been um, into that way. I know people want the tea, they want the juice with that. There's tea in my life, but not with that. How did Honey come out? No, Honey Narrett come out as a joke. She says, I'm gay because I'm happy. She, she's not a lesbian. I got red hair, wink face. Oh, hi, Chloe. <laughs> um, how do you feel about Shane exposing the beauty community? No, I haven't watched any of his videos, and I keep seeing that in my, uh, my news feed because I'm subscribed to all the drama channels. You guys, make videos about me. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, no, but all seriousness, I keep seeing that pop up. People are like, Shane drama, tra Shane drags. I'm thinking like, I think I, in my head, I'm thinking it's all clickbait and I never click it. Sometimes when you think things are really clickbaity, you just don't even click it. So that's how I felt about, I didn't know he, there was actually drama going on with him. Okay, shout out to Brandy. She says, are you gonna explain the button? I did explain the button. <laughs> I thought I explained it really well in my Uber story, Uber driver video. The button, it's just a spot that um, makes you uh, quake. <laughs> Shaking, quaking. <laughs> it's just a spot, it's a thing that you like. That's my button. And you saw it, and I, I went in full detail, I'm not gonna do it in this video, but I went to full detail in that video, okay? Is Orlin top or bottom? Orlin is... Orlin's done both. I've done both. Orlin prefers top. I prefer top. So, it becomes an issue <laughs> sometimes. Uh, it's so funny too, okay, not to put my ex on the spot because he's been on camera with me now. But I did a video with my ex-boyfriend from literally like a, a decade ago. F I saw him in real life for the first time in eight years. He's like, oh my god, you look so different, whatever. But off camera we were talking and... um <clears throat> You know, he was asking, we were talking about that kind of stuff too. And he's in the same scenario where him, because he has a boyfriend, he's like, me and my boyfriend, they've been together like five years or something. And he's like, it's a problem because I prefer, my preference is top, his preference is top. And uh, it's like, shoot. And people, you know, think like, oh, you should only marry someone if they're the opposite. It's like, no, you know, if Orla was asexual, I would still be with him, I think. Just because he's my. We're connected beyond just this shallow little thing of S-E-X, you know? We're connected by friendship, by soul, by him, his personality. I have deep love for him. Like, I would um, take a bullet for him or I would give up anything I make on YouTube to save him if something were to happen. If he got, like, kidnapped and held for ransom, I would sell everything. I would do whatever I had to do, embarrass myself to uh, the top of the pot. <laughs> to um, get him back. Does that make sense? I just, so no, it does get in the way when it comes to the urges and stuff, but the needs, but you know, I don't, I don't think you should, um, I 
I've seen that with straight couples too. Like, if you're not good in bed, move on. Or the, you, they have to be in good, good in bed in order for you to be in love. For, for a good lasting marriage, you have to be good in bed. I, um, and I'm not saying Orin's not good in bed. He is. There's some things that he likes that I don't. There's some, some things that I like that he doesn't, and vice versa. And but it's just an aspect. It's one little part of being with someone. At least that's how I see it. Younger people might think, like, the SEX is everything. If they're not good in bed, don't even look at them ever again. And, I mean, I, I know that's important, too. When you're younger, you're more like rabbits and breeding machines. That's kind of how it works when you're 20s and 30s versus 50s and 60s. But I do think about the long run. I think about care, like companionship, when I'm 50 and 60. And the, the bunny rabbit days are over. Um, I can't think of a better person than him. And, um, so, yeah, that, that aspect of, like, oh, I want a top, he wants a top, I'm like, oh, well, well oh, you know. Um, it doesn't ever occur to me of, like, oh, well, I'm just gonna find someone else. No. Are any of your friends or family jealous of your YouTube? Some, I can think of two people out of my friends, um, who I can tell are, they're not happy for me, they're upset that that's not them type of thing and that really hurt that's hurt that's something that um it's just plain sight plain it's very obvious i have felt that a few times with two people and these were friends that loved me before <clears throat> loved me before loved me for years that's what hurts too this is Year long. Okay, I have a life off camera too. Like I do share most of my life on camera, like 98% of it. But I do, ha I keep my family off camera, I think, I and my friends. So this question is applying to people I never talk about. I have, fr like in New York, I saw two friends that I've known forever. I used to freelance with them. I lived in New York, that was my hometown. So I didn't talk about it on camera. I like to have a, a slice of privacy, just a little bit, you know? Um, Cause it would make them uncomfortable too. Like there's some people on YouTube who, Every person they meet, every person they date, every person they are friends with, past, present, future, will appear on their YouTube channel. And I think, um, I would feel very lonely. I would, I personally would feel very, um, alone because I know that's going to make everyone run away. But yes, I did have a friend who he... I could tell he wasn't happy for me. You know, I'm doing something I love. I'm sh I'm sharing my views with the world. I'm making people happy. I'm making money. I'm a YouTuber. It's uh, the the possibilities are limitless, and it's so exciting for me. And he sees it as like, oh, I'm not happy for you. It's like, well, that should be me type of thing. And I don't, you know, <clears throat> it hurts. It really hurts. Yeah. Hey, Lainey. I also like, um, someone asked again about the type of woman I like. I tend to like, um, this is about preferences. This is not like, oh, they're a bad person or, oh, I don't like them or I can never be with someone who happens to be this way. Like, actually, I wasn't into Latinos till I met Orlin. Now that's at the top of my list. Latino men. Oh. So things change. So what I'm about to tell you, don't take offensively if this happens to be you. But someone asked, in terms of preferences, what type of girls do you like? And I mentioned, you know, br uh, blonde, not so much, brunettes and redheads, yes. Um, another thing, I know I've mentioned this in a video before. Was that my video with Trailer Trash, Tammy? I feel like when I'm with her, I talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> talk about anything but i did and one of my i had to have mentioned this you guys let me know i said that i personally like non-augmented chests i don't like the way they look i don't like the way they move i don't like the way they i have said this right yeah people are saying right yeah um i just i'm not in i'm no I prefer natural, and I also prefer smaller natural, believe it or not. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why. But it's a preference, you know what I mean? Like, why do some people like feet and others don't? I don't know. I prefer, um, uh, people are saying I have talked about this, yeah. Yeah, uh, smaller, 
Someone says Yiddies. Yeah, smaller Yiddies, definitely, over big ones, and especially over augmented ones. That's just my preference. <laughs> oh, this is quite the Q&A. Taller or shorter boys? Most of the time, taller. Every once in a while, a short boy is, a short, a short boy is cute, but taller. And I know if you're a short guy, you're always going to get that your whole life. If guys are into you, they want you taller. If girls want you taller because they want to be like protected by you, that manly figure, you know, the arms wrapped around you, guardian, like people feel like a security um, from male energy usually. So if you're a short guy, I'm sorry, you probably your whole life or a tall girl. I know there's a, um, a Netflix show coming out about a girl who's like six feet, t no, seven feet tall, a basketball player or something. And she was m ridiculed and made fun of and just targeted her whole, I think it's a high school, a girl about a, someone says, yeah, it's out. The show's already out. Thanks guys. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Imagine what that's like to be too tall, what you're supposed to be, or a guy, a guy that's five foot five, you know, that's no, like it's harder to mate it's hard and probably even have friends which is crazy but it's true so i like that they have a I have, they have a story about that and you know to show that she's a human and just probably something very wonderful about her too you know you can find the sexy in everybody and it's a nice little reminder um i didn't watch it but i would really like to see that actually i like tall white guys it's funny orlin loves um european white looking and i personally go for like darker ethnic latino black like i personally preference it's like i like darker skin tones and he likes whiter skin tones even though he's darker and i'm lighter it's like we crisscross and it's funny too because my preferences have changed over time i don't really know what i was into back in the day i think i just like darker hair that's all i really cared about and tall but um yeah, but now after being with Orland, I mean, we've been together for six years. So it's now been six years of me really being into, like, um, ethnic, Hispanic, like, a lot. <clears throat> and he, again, is really interested in uh, white. Um, he likes a European look. He could, he'll be like, he'll look at someone from Europe, and then he'll look at someone from, like, the States. And he'll be like, the Europeans are cuter to me. Like, he just, he likes that. I don't know what it is. And I don't not that you can always tell by looking at people, but... Yeah, we both like each other's type. It's perfect. <laughs> it's perfect. This is why we're really into each other. So, big butts or small butts on females? Um, and for guys, too. So, medium for both, I guess. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I... I think medium, not too big, not too small, just right. Like porridge from Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> oh my god, I'm full. I bear I have all this food left. <sighs> my this QA is getting spicy. Does Orlin hate it when you eat spicy noodles? No, Orlin loves when I eat spicy noodles. I told you. Um <laughs> So when you eat spicy noodles, your whole mouth gets coated with chili chili oils and chili flakes. Even when you drink water and go done. Okay, so when you eat spicy noodles, your mouth gets very spicy. Orlin likes to get down there, me to go to me go on to him and go down there because it, he says it's a, a nice tingle. <laughs> so no, Orlin loves when I do the fire noodle challenge because as soon as it's over, he's like, he's literally in bed. He goes like this. He literally pats like I'm a dog. Like, come up here. Oh my goodness, like. Every time I do spicy noodles, know that that happens off camera. Maybe you don't want to know that. Well, it's too late now. Does spicy food affect your please in taking it? I feel like it would hurt. Oh, well, I don't take it. <laughs> no. no, 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 I don't take it if I'm eating spicy food. I rarely take it to begin with. See, that's the issue with us sometimes. Um, <sighs> a little bit. <laughs> Someone's like, I knew it. Yeah, a mukbanger ain't gonna be taking it that much, that's for sure. And even if it's like a slow day, or it's, everything's fresh and clean, or I, I just, I'm more of a top, and he's more of a top. <laughs> so, he's the one always grabbing me, slapping me, pushing me over, like, 
bend over for daddy and I'm just like, oh no. <laughs> I'm like, no. So we both have Orlin. Okay, there's a side of Orlin, a big side of Orlin that you don't see on camera. He's, I don't want to say like the aggressor, like um, he's dominant. He's very dominant. Like a lot of what I decide to do in life or where I live or what I, comes from him and it, people think it's the opposite people think i'm like the, the one who wears the pants in the family and honestly like honestly it's him um it's so funny because people think that like oh he's like my sugar baby and he's with me for money and it, when i first met orlin not to say i was his sugar baby but he took care of my ass for years he was the breadwinner orlin's always been a, a good worker and very responsible and He's the man. I mean, if there's a spider, I scream, he gets it. If something falls, like a, a screw comes out, I look at it, he fixes it. If we're carrying something heavy, I say, ow, he carries it. If um, there's something gross, I say, ew, and he takes care of it. When I had to cook that giant lobster, I literally had a stick, and I was like this. Like, oh, I don't want to touch it. Ew. And he literally grabbed it with his bare hands and like dunked it in the water. Bye-bye, lobster. Like, he's the man. <laughs> and he's very um, dominant personality-wise off camera. Dominant um, in the bedroom. Dominant with decisions we make as a family. Um, and I like that. I feel... And people think it's the opposite. That's what's crazy, too. People think they watch our videos and think, I'm controlling, I make him do everything. He's very sweet on camera, you guys. And not to say he's unsweet off camera. It's just like, everyone has different sides. You happen to see all my sides. You see me so sober and drunk, crazy, professional, calling out other YouTubers. You see me manic and not making sense. You see me making embarrassing videos like this. Um, you see everything. With Orlin, it's usually just like, he's on... He's happy to be in a video because he's a guest on my channel once a month he'll make a video with me maybe he'll have a little phase where it's like five videos back to back and then he'll disappear for a couple months like he you usually see and honestly i don't think that's unusual i think of some other mukbangers no offense that you know make one video a month two three videos a month they make very few videos and they're always the same in every video like smiley and happy and hi guys but you know off camera well, I can think of one or two of them <laughs> that are beasts. You know, like people will always show their best side on camera. I'm someone which is not normal on YouTube for sure. Actually, I think Trish is this way too. That you kind of show like the bad days too. Orlin doesn't really show that. I'm not saying that being dominant is bad. I'm just saying <sighs> it's just, it baffles me that people think that I am the man of the household and you know, he's with me for money, he does everything I say, and he's like the submissive type, and literally it's the opposite. Literally it's the opposite. <laughs> um, not saying I'm with him for money, I'm just saying like, personality-wise, he is the boss. Truly. So, anyways, thanks, that was a good question. I actually never got to bring that up. Have I ever talked about that? I'm sure I have, but. Actually, yeah, muchasta, machista is how you say it. It's a very male dominant society um hispanic not all hispanic culture but a lot of hispanic culture, especially central america it's very what's that machista what is it called machisto machisto oh you're taking shots for me machismo yeah that's where he gets it from orland's dad is like oh oh, 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 oh yeah well, well, well. he like he either way they talk like i'm all like la 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 he's like oh this pizza is good oh this pizza is good puppy oh this is really good Oh, the chicken is perfect. Like, it's just very like, oh. <laughs> um, which is crazy that Colombia has gay marriage because um, Colombia had gay marriage before the U.S. Isn't that sad? And that's a machismo culture. And the United States is supposed to be this like liberal, well, socially liberal, free, be who you want, worship how you please, do what you want with your body, be whoever you want to be type of society. And really, it's kind of still working its way there. <sighs> it's kind of crazy. Would you ever want to be in a thruple? If so, male or female? What's a thruple? Is that like a three-way shebang? Um... I have been in a three-way shebang. 
with Orlin in Thailand a couple of times with other uh, guys. Oh, a relationship? No. No, 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 no. I, I feel like it's very easy to have like a little shebang or a quickie where you're releasing like a need, but you're not attached. You don't even know their name. It doesn't matter. You're both men. You're just getting it off. To me, that's totally fine with me. I don't care because it doesn't change my love for Orlin, doesn't change your relationship. But in terms of relationship, when you're involved, love and effort and money and time, and that's what a relationship is. It's very expensive to be in a relationship. It's a lot of time. It's consuming you and your mind and your heart and your JJ. I can't even keep up with one person. There's no way I could do someone else. And I don't, would it be a jealousy thing? Maybe. I just, I don't just don't, I'm, I think very few people can do it. I think it can work, but I feel like you really have to, baby, you were born this way type of thing. I feel like you can't just wake up and say, I'm going to have two husbands. I don't know. I know some cultures, I don't, some cultures in the Middle East do that, where they can have multiple wives or it's okay. I don't know how that affects the wives' mental states, because I think some people, yes, but most people, no. And isn't that very common? I don't know which country does that. Sorry if I so sound ignorant, but I know it's true. Um, does someone know what country that does that, where they can have multiple wives? I just don't. Um, no. So the answer is no. I, I couldn't do that. It says it's a religion. Oh, Mormons. Everyone's saying Mormon. Oh, I didn't know that. <sighs> you learn something new every day. Utah, Mormon, Islam, Mormon. People say Mormons. Wow. I didn't, I didn't know you can have multiple, multiple wives as a Mormon. How do you divide your love? Clearly, someone's going to get more than the other. Nothing's 50-50 in life. That's kind of impossible. Um, to split. How would you even know to split 50-50? I just, I don't know. I mean... There's some people who can do it, but all parties have to want it. And it's very hard to find those people. That's why they have special groups on the internet to help you find people like that. If you're special or um, what if you're like asexual or something that you really don't want anything, but you don't know any other ase asexuals and you feel alone. That's the beauty of the internet. You can find other people who are like you. But in terms of, yeah, I just, I don't know. Dr. Phil, the wives and husbands were all very happy. The kids were happy. They believed they had good communication and set days for each partner interesting interesting i mean see yeah but to answer the question could i the answer is no again little shebangs on the side little if orla and i are separate for five months because my visa run or i'm on a trip or he's in south america and i don't want him to be sad and i know something very especially for a man to relieve himself one two three like i don't even care i don't even need to know but um relationship that's a whole different thing that's a whole different thing i couldn't i kind of do that no i could not do that and for a three-way see that's one thing to be a man i have a wife over here i go bye-bye drive to new york i have a wife over there hello bye-bye going back to pennsylvania my other wife like it's just me. But the, the two wives, are they communicating? No. That's one thing to have multiple wives. But if it's a triangle where I'm with the wife, the wife is with the wife, the wife is with me, and the wives have a relationship, I... Again, you have to have a certain mindset, I think, to do that. Nick, did you get backlash for saying the slur midget in one of your recent mukbangs? No. I don't even remember saying that. <sighs> Hi, guys. I'm back. I changed the battery. Height challenge. Is it a... Th Imagine being the opposite. Hi, I'm tall challenged. That just sounds bad. <laughs> what? And I know, I'm water weight challenged. Okay, do you guys want to hear an embarrassing story? When I was in Thailand with Orlin, we decided to have a... Little three thing... A th one, two, three person shebang. We both wanted it. He really wanted to share me with someone. It's something that he want to experience and um we were in thailand i think asians are very attractive it was just perfect no one knew who we were that's the, something you risk too like oh my god what if they know us they put a little secret camera there oh gosh everyone has to see my jelly roll okay well no so they didn't know who I, we were and um <laughs> the guy comes over he's very excited we get going and um, you remember that in 
Thailand. Thailand is home of one of my favorite foods called durian, which is a very delicious fruit. Very fibrous, very creamy, and it smells horrid. It smells like rotten eggs sewer. <laughs> yes, some people know where this is going. It smells like rotten egg sewer. Like, it's so putrid that it's banned from public spaces. It is banned from the subway. It is banned from certain areas of the city. You can't even have it out. So, durian, I have lots of videos eating it. It's delicious. But it grows in this big spiky shell. It looks like a big old porcupine. It looks like an acorn. And you crack it open and all this creamy yellow stuff comes out. And that's what you eat. It's called durian. Well, I had happened to eat some every day, pretty much, while it was there. And, you know, the room smells bad, whatever, but then you throw it away, it's clean, whatever, it's gone. Anyways, so I had had durian either the day before, I don't think that day, probably, oh, that evening, probably last night, because the guy came over in the afternoon. So, you know, it had been like, I don't know, six, seven hours, maybe. I don't know. Um, right? Or did I have durian that morning? I don't remember. This was last year, but I remember eating during pretty much every day. Anyways, um, the guy came over, and uh, we were getting on. The clothes were coming off. And Orlin. So, okay, so the guy is up against the headboard. And um, I am pleasing him. And I'm, like, on my hands and knees. This is on top of the mattress. And so my butt's up in the air. And Orlin, of course, Orlin, dominant mochismo Orlin, decide he want to do me. Now, this is not something I had given him permission to do. This is not something that we had spoken about. Um, he didn't even ask. He just stuck it in. And I'm over there, you know, with the lollipop in my mouth. And I'm like, oh. I thought Orlin was just admiring the view from back there. I thought he was just soaking up the movie, the front row seat, eating his popcorn, coming around to join, stepping back to watch again. So he was back behind me. I didn't know what he was doing. Okay. And, you know, my butt's up. It's kind of like a dog doing downward, downward dog. You know that yoga pose? That's literally what I was doing. Downward dog, taking care of the lollipop. And... All of a sudden, I feel boom, and I'm like, "Excuse you," but I don't say anything, because there's a lollipop in my mouth, and I'm like, oh, 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 oh. and I'm actually, I prefer typing more often, but if I do have the bottom, I'm actually very good at it because I know how to relax in my head. I relax. I say it's good. I tell myself I want it, even if I don't. <laughs> I swear it's not rape. Don't go around saying it's totally fine. I don't care, um, and. I didn't say no, so don't even start that rumor. But um, so I start relaxing my muscle because it's on your head, you know, back there it's a muscle. You know, when you go to the bathroom, you have to relax the muscle. Hopefully, we're not eating. And this is the Trisha Paris video. And I don't know if she, oh, Trisha would love this because she's learning how to take it up back there, isn't she now? Yeah. Okay. Pay attention, Trisha. So I'm relaxing my muscles so that I can take it and the, the backwards penetration, whatever. And I'm just relaxing everything. <sighs> and everything's fine, and it actually feels pretty good. I'm actually a very good bottom. Trisha, you have to relax. It's on your head. It's a muscle thing. People who don't know how to take it up from back there, it, you have to relax. You have to relax. You have to tell yourself, I like it. I want it. It feels good. And it does, but it's also like pain and pleasure at the same time. It's very, it's like nonstop pooping. Like pooping feels good, but it doesn't, but it does, but it doesn't. So anyways, um, he's going at it at me. I'm still playing with the lollipop. La, 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 la. And then Orlin says, Orlin stops. He's like, I have to be right back. I'm thinking like, oh, I don't know what, what he has to... All of a sudden, the room smelt like durian. Durian fruit. The odor. It smelled like rotten eggs, sewer filled the entire room. It was like a cloud had went <sighs> And I knew exactly what had happened. And I quickly squeezed my, I'm like, I tighten up, I'm like, close the doors. I don't know what came out, but all I smell is durian. Well, the Asian man that I was, you know, taking care of, 
that was leaning up against the bedboard, you know. He goes like this. Ah, durian. You like durian? I like durian. Mmm, durian, durian. Uh, and I just am literally like, uh, um, uh-huh. And I, you know, I squeeze my, I close those doors. Well, it's a very small little, tiny, tiny little studio that we were renting in Thailand. So, or was in the bathroom. He had like turned on the shower or something. It was that bad. And so obviously I hear he's like running water now. We both hear it because it's literally right next to us. It's a very small studio. You can hear everything. And I know exactly, I know exactly what had happened. I had pooped durian all over Orlin. And the whole room smelled like durian. And it made the Asian man hungry. And I was so embarrassed. Someone asked me the most embarrassing. There it is. Most embarrassing. And the funny thing is, the Thai guy was just as excited as before. <laughs> as if nothing happened. He goes, mmm, durian. Mmm. You like durian. I like durian. And that's it. And then he puts my head... And I just keep going. He's just as excited as he was when we started. And I'm over here wanting to die in a corner. So, Trisha. Do not eat durian. Well, if you do, do not take it anywhere near any of your holes. Because it's a very smelly, putrid fruit. And, Trisha, if you're going to start taking it more often... Make sure you don't mukbang beforehand. Make sure you uh, just don't eat. Do your little celery juice cleanse. Don't eat much. Don't do a diuretic. Don't do a laxative. That's really painful and really bad for you. There's something called an edema. You, it's like a water balloon. You put it up and you pop it and it goes pew, and it makes everything come out. And then you can take it. Patricia, do not take it up the behind after a mukbang, all right? If this is what you're going to start doing now, learn from the wise. Do not, uh-uh, take it up, uh-uh, af after eating, no. Because embarrassing things happen, and do not do it with the durian, okay? So, that that is my most embarrassing story. Cheers to that. I was so mad at Orlin when the guy left. I was like, why would you? He's like, I don't know. I was so excited. I'm like, like I imagine a dog, like a literal, like a literal, literal dog that just starts humping everything. That was Orlin. <sighs> I should have just squeezed my butthole. I should have not let him in. I should have like been like, if you can't go in today. I should have, but you know, I didn't want to ruin the mood. He was excited. We don't do that very often. We've done it like a couple times in our whole lives. We've been together six years. I can count it on one hand. It's very rare, but Oh, I was so mad at him. I'm like, that was so embarrassing. And then this guy that, you know, that we were doing it with, he was um, in the same apartment building as us. A few days had gone by. Remember, Orla and I, well, we were there for about five weeks, four weeks, six weeks, really like a month, basically. So a couple days goes by and we get in the elevator coming back from the market or something. We have lots of fruit. One of the things we have in our little uh, trash bag, a uh, grocery bag, we just gone to the, the Thai market, the fresh fruit and vegetable market. Uh, we had some durian in the bag. And guess who walks onto the elevator as we're there holding our damn durians? The Thai guy that literally smelt it coming out my butthole. And he literally said the same thing. He looks down. I'm holding my grocery bag of my durian. And he goes, ah, durian. You like durian. I like durian. <sighs> and I was just like, yes, we love durian. That's why we came here. We love durian very much. <sighs> Lord Jesus. Next question. And before you say I'm mimicking his accent, I am not making, don't, I am not here to criticize how he speaks. I'm literally saying how he would have said it because I'm telling a story. And that's literally what he said. 
actually his English was very good. Um, very, very good. So, but that's, I'm saying the way he said it because it's kind of comical. Because it's funny to laugh at, but it's also very embarrassing. So don't, do not say I'm here mimicking an accent or something like that. No, 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 no. I mean, I guess you can, I'm impersonating, but it's not for malicious qualities. So cheers to that. Any other, any other questions? <laughs> Someone says I'm hashtag hungry. Ugh. It was so embarrassing. I was so mad at Orlin. I was just, and then when the guy left, he was just like, yeah, it was all over me. Like yellow mush. It looked, he said it looked like baby food. You know, it's like mashed up little Gerber. He said it looked like baby food. I'm like, please don't tell me you're eating right now. Well, if you were, you left by now. That's for sure. Disgusting. Disgusting. Uh, thanks, Orlin. What's the prettiest girl you've ever seen? Um, have you ever ridden a D? Did you like it? I did. Actually, that's the easiest way for me to take it. It doesn't hurt at all. It only feels good. I don't know why. It's very hard for me to ride now because I'm so fat. <laughs> Usually I just sit there and I'm just like, uh, uh, okay, I'm out of breath. Goodbye. <laughs> that's literally how it goes. But back in the day when I was skinnier, um, I would do it to Orlin a lot, actually. Um, yeah, because that was the best. Easiest for me. Between you and Orlin, who makes the most sounds? Definitely me. Definitely me. Someone says, I'm a lazy top and a lazy bottom. That comes from Stephanie. Stephanie, you just lay there at all times. Literally, that's how I feel right now. What advice would you give to a fellow water, wait, water waiter that wants to get better at riding? <laughs> well, don't ask me. Ever since the water weight came, there's no riding to ever happen. Uh-uh. And you know what the funny thing is? I'm so big now that when I sit on it, what was I going to say? What was I going to say? Like, I can't go up. Like, there's no space to go up and down. Like, before, when I was skinny, I could, like, not be standing on my feet, but just on my knees. And it's kind of like seesawing. Dun, da, dun, da, dun. Dun, da, dun, da, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Now, because the thighs are thicker, the butt is thicker, there's no space to move. And that's the problem. I sit down, and when I go up, I'm still down. So, if you have water weight, you cannot ride unless you're on your feet, like squatting. And go ahead and blow a joint, bust a muscle. Good luck. But, um, yeah, ain't happening. You know what I'm talking like I I go up, I'm still down. I go down, I'm I can't even move. I'm just like this. And Orland starts laughing. He's like, get the f <laughs> So it just doesn't happen. It just doesn't happen. I'm a little too big for that. It's true. Just think of the physics of it. <laughs> and the thing is too, Orland gained a little weight too since we first met. So He's bigger as well, so there's just no space. There's no space. My favorite type of kiss? I actually hate aggressive making out. I've never been a fan. I like it very slow. I like it very, very, very slow. Very soft. Actually, the durian guy from Thailand was a great, soft, slow, tender kisser. And then I've had hookups where it's just like. Don't like that. I like it slow. I like it. I like to be appreciated. I'm not looking for a dental cleaning. Ah, don't do that. I've never liked it. I know so many people like it. I just, I don't like that. Was the Uber driver a good kisser? This comes from Blue Spectrum. Oh, shout out to Shelby. Thank you, a big shout out to Shelby. Um, the Uber driver was nice and slow. Very soft, took his time, very smooth. The Uber driver was great. Yes. And his lips were so 
big, like, ha, ah, great kisser. Smooth operator, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Orlin has big lips, too. Like, you know when you go, that's how Orlin's are when he's resting. Now, they're not puckered out, but they're very just, like, lip fillers, like, you know, my my teeth, my lips are very small. His are like this. When Orlin's just sitting normally, this is how he is. Yes, that's nice. Actually, I think that's why people want lip injections because they want those. Um, they call them D sucking lips. D sucking lips. D sucking lips. D sucking lips. No, I don't want, I don't, I actually, I don't want, I could never do an injection. I actually thought about getting Kybella. <laughs> do you know what that is? Kybella is like this fat eating chemical that they inject into your double chin. And it's supposed to eat away your fat without having to get surgery. Apparently it's very, very freaking painful. It's expensive and you have to get like 10 treatments in order to know a difference. I almost passed out in my King Crab video today, well, yesterday for you, because I pricked my finger. I didn't even bleed, by the way. I just touched it and it hurt. And I had to cut the video and go lay on the couch because I started seeing tunnel vision. I can't even get my blood pressure taken without going unconscious. I will never get a tattoo. I'll never get a piercing. I will never go, oh, I hate the dentist. When it comes to medical stuff, pain, operations, surgery, I can't even think about it without getting sick. I could never, and it's funny because I was gonna do this collaboration with, um, what do you call them, a dermatologist? So she did Botox, lip fillers, Kybella, um, skin lasers, like the clear and brilliant, the Fraxels. She had her own little clinic or whatever. And this is when I lived in Florida and she was in Tallahassee, I think. Yeah, Tallahassee. And she wanted to do a series of Kybella on my chin. And she's like, I'll do it for free for you in exchange. You shout out my clinic, blah, blah, blah. And I, I was like, oh, and she told me what it was because I'd never heard of it. I'm like, oh my God, my double chin going away. Yay. She's like, she's like, you swell. You can't move. You have to wear a chin strap. She's like, it's going to be great content for your channel. Because <laughs> she had watched my channel. And she knows I'm very dramatic. I'm like, oh my god, perfect. Chop it off my double chin. Crying. All swollen. She says you get very, very red. Well, then I read about how painful the procedure is. How long it is. And it's not just like, inject, inject, inject. With a little syringe. She has to do like, no joke, 40 injections. She has this sheet of paper that has holes on it. looks like a grid. And they paste it on your neck. And it's like a little, it's a little sheet of paper. And it gives them the areas. It's like they're stencils. And it says, this is where you poke your holes. It's like 40 of them. And it's a long process, a painful process. You feel the injection going in. I would pass out over and over and over and over. And by the way, you could do all 40 syringes, pay $1,000 or however much it costs, and see no difference. The average person needs 8 to 10 sessions for it to go, to work. And she was only going to provide like two of them. And I'm like, so I'm going to be in pain, pass out, you know, go through all that trouble for there to be no difference. <laughs> And she wasn't willing to provide all 10 or 8 of them. And I wasn't willing to sit through even one of them. So I'm just like, bye. <laughs> I told her if I am going to pass out, I'd rather be, have a IV in my arm, let go to sleep and have them actual chop off my chin. Like liposuction, chin, chin, chin liposuction. Like, do, 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 like suck all the fat off, do a, do, do a lift, sew it up, pull it back. And if I'm going through the, all that, might as do go all the way, get it over with once. Because to me, the injections is like a surgery. The pain, the process, the thought, the passing out, the, not, the swelling for weeks, she says, weeks. You're better off getting it all done at once. One, two, three. And being asleep for it. So, yeah, I could never. Oh, God. Painful. People are like, yeah, I agree. Yeah, ten times. Now, some people, it'll work by six of them. You can read up, you can read on it. Like six or seven, it'll, some people see a big difference. And I saw the before and after photos, and there is a difference, but you know what Orland said to me? I was like, Nick, or you could just lose weight. <laughs> it's so true. Orland's like, Nick, or you could just lose some weight. <laughs> Oh, I love my husband. It's so true, though. So, 
yeah, we're going to keep the double chin for now. I'm so glad you went live. My anxiety was terrible. Oh, I'm here for you. Hi. I do, I do lose weight very easily. Someone pointed out. Oh, I'm so blessed. I walked like an extra hour or two every day in New York. And by the end of the week, I had lost seven pounds. It was crazy. I lose weight very, very fast. Actually, it takes a long time for me to gain weight. And I lose weight. If, if I want to lose 20 pounds... I could snap my fingers, come back in a month, and I would be 20. I guarantee. With slow, slow, uh, low intensity exercise, changing what I eat, I'm, no, I'm good. So, I'll keep the double chin for a couple years, you guys. Okay, Steven wants to know, how fat are you willing to get before you stop doing mukbangs? Honestly, I feel like I could go up to 300 pounds, and I know I'm really close to 300 pounds, but just to put things in perspective, it took one year for me to gain like 15, 20 pounds max. It took over a year and I'm currently 275. So another year would bring me to 290, hypothetically. Maybe I could go on like a one month cleanse, boom, 10 pounds gone. I, I had been plateauing around this like between 250 and 275 for the last two and a half years. So I'm willing to go up to 300. Um, I don't think I will though. I eat till I'm full every day. I eat junk and junk and junk and I barely exercise. I eat healthy off camera. That's why, you know, I'm healthy. <laughs> People are like, Nick, you're not healthy. Okay, let's just say that's why I haven't died yet, okay? I know how to eat my omegas. I know how to eat my antioxidants. I know to get in my servings of fiber so I don't get colon cancer. I know what to do, all right? I'm talking to a long-term ex-vegan that learned a lot of stuff about balance and whatever. So I know what I'm doing, whatever. I'm willing to be 300. I'm willing to be 350. I mean, because I know that I know how to lose it and because I know that um, it's temporary. And But in all honesty, I don't think I ever will get above 300. I literally try every day. I try every day. Well, I don't try to gain that much weight, but I literally try to eat as much food as I can that's in front of me. And I don't over-exercise, I don't take diuretics, I don't throw up my food, clearly, look at my gut. I just plateau because of my metabolism and my height. Um, and uh, my body burns a lot of the food just because I'm six foot and I'm tall and I'm a guy and I, yeah, so. How fat am I willing to get? I'd say 300, but I don't think even that's gonna happen, so. Lucky me. Um, do you find do you find guys who wear makeup attractive? The honest answer is no. I personally don't. I think guys can do whatever they want. If you want to wear makeup, wear makeup. But attractive in terms of like um, sexual attraction, no. Uh, maybe sometimes. Now I'm thinking of a YouTuber. Okay, yeah, <laughs> but. Most times, no. I'm just being honest. Um, but go ahead and do what you ever do what you want to do. Do you like men of color? Oh yes, I do. <laughs> I was yeah. You might be late to the show, but I literally just said that I prefer darker skin tones. I love Hispanic. I like Latino. I like black. Whereas Orlin prefers lighter white European. And that's funny because I'm that and he's, you know, ethnic. So it's perfect. We're both happy. But yeah, some are, someone already asked that. And then growing up, I didn't. I don't think I did. But preferences change. Some people hate sweet wine and then they want bitter wine. But back, ask them when they're 19. They don't care. They just want to get drunk. I mean, preferences change over time and what you enjoy, what you like. Um, but yes, I actually really like Indian guys too. Like every once in a while, I see... A really attractive Indian, like from India. Where else would it be? India is from India. Um, yeah, dark, dark brown. Oh, I just love dark skin. It just, I don't know. In terms of what I'm attracted to, so. And there's some really, really beautiful Indian men out there. Like, beautiful. Do you ever plan on visiting your homeland now that you've done a DNA test? Yes, I'd love to one day. I just don't know when. If you guys don't know, check out my uh, video called... What did I call it? Something about, like, opening up about something. opening, Getting something off my chest. Something like that. 
where I literally talked, I talked about my adoption story. I told everyone who didn't know that, yes, I don't know my parents. Yes, it's true. People have seen it in the comments a lot. Like, he's adopted. He, he was never loved by his parents. My adopted parents have always loved me, so don't say that, but I... I've never met my real parents. I've never met, I don't even know if I have siblings. So anyways, check out that video. I go into the details. Who has given you the best head? That would actually be Orlin. Orlin or my ex-boyfriend who I filmed the video with two, a week ago. <laughs> if I'm telling the truth. Out of all of my exes and all of my hookups. Ooh, that one guy from college was good. Okay, let's really think about this. Honestly, Orlin, I think... I definitely... Orlin's number one. But number two is either the guy from college or my ex who you saw. Sorry if he's watching. <laughs> oh my god. Um, yeah, out of all the people... Some of them are not even memorable. I can't remember all of them. But uh, definitely Orlin. Orlin is number one. Orlin can go for a long time, too. That's nice. <laughs> People are like, Nick, don't upload this. Uh, I know, that's lucky for me. I'm married to that. <gasps> I'm married to that machine. Look at that. Ooh. Last question comes from Roberts. They said, hickeys, yes or no? The answer is no. Just like I can't get my blood pressure taken, I can't do a Kybella in my face to get my fat melted. From <sighs> Just like I can't even go to the dentist without queezing and shaking and sweating in the chair. Like a maniac, I can't do hickeys because it's that sensation of, ooh, veins, blood, and you actually see the red the capillaries breaking. Ugh. So I used to really like hickeys. That's the funny thing. My medical phobia has gotten worse over time. And I remember one time in college... <laughs> There's a guy. Remember I said he tied with John, my ex, who you saw in my video? Um, who I said, like, who gave the best head? I'm like, Orlin, but I don't know either him or the college... Well, that other college guy that I'm thinking of. Who did a really good job down there. Well, he also loved to give hickeys. And I remember one time he was giving me one in my bunk bed in the dormitory. And I remember liking it. Ugh. But it was, like, borderline, like, oh, shoot, I feel sick for some reason. Like, I started getting tunnel vision. It's that whole medical sensation phobia that I have. It's very weird. And I remember I got off the, I was on the top bunk. We got down, we were both on it together. I'm like, uh, I feel sick, hold on, let me go outside. In my room, it was a four single room dormitory that had a connecting hallway and a big living room and a kitchen. And I opened up my door from my personal bedroom and my roommate, let's call him Adam, Adam was there brushing his teeth. It was like a long hallway that had two, three sinks. It was beautiful dorms, by the way. Anyways, I come out and he's like, boys, what you doing in there? And I was just like, oh, no, whatever. We were all gay. That's the funny thing. In my dormitory in college, it was me, Adam, blank, blank, and blank. One, two, three, four, five. And we were all gay. It's kind of funny. But we got a select roommate, so that's how it worked. And it was just fun. A gay house. Well, so anyways, I was very open. I'm like, look, look what he just gave me. And he's like, oh, and I looked in the mirror and it was so red. I was like, oh my God. And I went back and the next thing I know, I'm on the floor. Adam and the college, the guy who was doing it was over top of me. And they're like fanning me. They're like, Nick, 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 Nick. And I was like, I remember looking up at them and my head felt numb and Adam was like, you fell backwards straight down. Like, so he sat me up, he got some ice and then he looked at my thing. He's like, what? I'm like, I don't know. It's like my medical phobia, I think. And then he's like, Oh, my mom taught me this. <laughs> so he goes to, um, the freezer where the ice cubes were and he pulls out a metal spoon that had been in the freezer. He's like, I keep this here for myself all the time. This is my hickey remover. I'm like, <laughs> it's a cold spoon. And he put the cold spoon on it. Oh gosh, I'm gonna pass out just thinking about it. And the cold on top of passing out, on top of feeling like tunnel vision. And I was like, oh God, no. He's like, no, keep it on. It's gonna like make the capillaries like better. It's supposed to make the redness go away. And I literally remember sitting on the floor 
with Adam and the college guy who was giving me the hickey. And they're both like taking care of me, putting a spoon on my neck, putting an ice on my head. Um, and I never got a hickey ever again. And how old was I? I was probably 20 or ni 19. I think I was 19. Yeah, because I was 18, 19, 19. I was either 19 or 20. It was sophomore year. I went to college at 18, turned 19. Sophomore year, I was 19, turned 20. Oh, I was probably 19 because I turned 20 at the end of the year. Yeah, I was 19, you guys. And I'm now 27. So that's, can I do math? That was eight years ago. I've never had a hickey for eight years. Orland's never given me one. I tell him I'll pass out. He doesn't want to make me pass out. Um, I've never had a hickey for seven or eight years because of that instance. Um, yeah, true story. I don't know if that works, though. The, the, and what a slut my roommate was. <laughs> had emergency spoons in the freezer at all times to remove his hickeys? Damn. Adam! <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, my mom taught me this. Be right back. And he, he goes to his room. He has his own little mini fridge and brings out this damn metal spoon. <laughs> I'm like, it was already in there ready to go. I just stuck it up. I don't know if that works, but that's what happened. Anyways, yeah, he was kind of cute. He was, um, oh my God, Adam would really like me now. So I was a skinny little twink. I was like as big as this. I was as big as this straw when I was in college, literally. Look at photos of me from college. I was this big. Dee -dee 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 -dee. And Adam was always hooking up with older guys, like daddy. He had a daddy thing. He liked older men that were like 10, 15 years older than him, at least. <laughs> but always chubby. Like big bellies, muscular mustaches, um, hairy back. It really turned him on, the whole masculine stuff. And he also liked chubby younger boys too. Actually, Adam's boyfriend was like two or three years older than us, but he was like my size, like chubby. And um, if Adam saw me now, I think he'd be like, wow, you changed for the better. <laughs> because he was really into that build. It's so funny. Yeah. I feel like a lot of my old college friends or my roommates, if they saw me now, they would be like, what happened? Because I was always very, like, health conscious. I would go to the gym. I would try to eat, like, not too much. I kept dabbling into veganism, but I didn't go vegan until I was 20. But yeah, 20. But I remember 17, 18, 19, I kind of went back and forth from vegetarian to vegan. Um, I could never keep up with the vegan stuff until I met Orland, who really helped me, but... Excuse me. That was very skinny. You have always had extreme diets. I mean, I don't think my vegetarian diet was extreme. It was very easy. I could go to any restaurant. I mean, bread, grains, soy, cheese, sandwich wraps. I mean, it was easy being vegetarian. Taco Bell has, ve I mean, vegetarian is pretty easy. And you can eat pretty much anything. And even, well, no, vegan's a lot harder. Vegan's a lot harder. That's, you know, with the milk and the eggs. See, vegetarians can eat eggs. You can have omelets. I mean, vegetarian is easy. I personally think meat's very healthy, but whatever. We're not going to talk about health in this video. And no one's going to care because I eat junk for a living. So it's very ironic. And no one's going to even care what I say. But, um... I don't think I've been extreme. I know what I do now is extreme, but it's, I, it's balancing out all my vegan days, okay? <laughs> when I'm done, I went like this, and now I'm going like this. And once they're even again, then I'm done balancing. But I'm still making up for lost time, you guys. Five years without anything good. <laughs> okay, I'm making up for lost time, and I still have another year or two. I was vegan for five years, I'm going to be a mukbanger for five years, okay? making up so i'm gonna get going you guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you later oh my god this was so much fun bye